Hey everyone, this is Elder Pinto, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of CryEngine 3 and its editor, Sandbox. Throughout this training series, I'll be showing you how to create a complete environment scene from start to finish, recording and describing in detail all the necessary steps to bring an environment like this we're seeing here, or any other, to life. So um, we're gonna start off with um, we, you know, with the bare basics like the CryEngine 3 build and folder structure. We're also gonna be looking at how to customize the UI to uh, to your own taste, and uh, you know, establishing a good foundation to get started on this scene we're seeing here. After that, we're gonna get started with creating a brand new level with uh, both exterior areas and interiors, everything from scratch. We're going to start with the terrain and basic layout and block out. Then we're going to be looking at how to dress your scene with vegetation and props. And, um, you know, how to use some of the editor specific entities like, uh, like the fog volume, water volumes, voids, decals and roads, you know, the rope entity, clouds, etc., etc. We will also cover lighting and uh, environment settings. We're gonna be looking at how to use CryEngine 3 unique image-based lighting system with environment cube maps and uh, uh, deferred lighting as well. And uh, you know, it doesn't stop there. I'm also going to, uh, to teach you how to use this, uh, how to not only use the stock content, but I am also going to describe in detail how to create custom content from decals to roads, you know, terrain, textures, particles, materials, and um, there's even a whole section on how to create a very simple game asset in 3D Studio Max from start to finish with LODs, proxy, custom textures, materials, and uh, get, it, get it all in game. And of course, as I go, I will also give you, you know, a bunch of tips and tricks regarding workflow, the editor and uh, other details that I learned throughout all these years that I've been using CryEngine. Basically stuff that will be just impossible to do on a written tutorial or, uh, or documentation. You'll see that uh, CryEngine 3, what you see is what you play functionalities is just a pure joy to work with. Everything is real time, uh, lighting, shadows, decals, etc. You will never need to bake light maps, calculate or render anything. What you see in the editor viewport is exactly what you'll see in pure game. I hope you enjoyed this training series and uh, without further ado, let's get started. On this third volume, we're going to be looking at uh, on how to create uh, a very simple interior level with um with these areas and uh deferred lighting because uh the workflow to create uh interior only levels is uh slightly different from uh, creating uh, exterior levels altogether so uh, we're gonna have a, a video just uh, explaining how to do that and after that we have a whole a whole section on how to create a custom content basically we're going to be uh, having a look at on how to create uh, custom decals and roads on how to create custom terrain layers. We're going to be looking at on how to create uh, materials for uh, terrain and uh, textures as well. And after that, we have a, a, a lighting section where we're going to be looking at uh, deferred lights, light box and uh, and you know uh, advanced environment cube maps as well after that we have uh, a video about creating terrain using a height map which is basically if you want you can get a, a height map from a third party uh, application like uh, like geo control for instance and you can import that and uh, create your own custom islands we're also going to be looking at the creative exporter for photoshop obviously and um, we're also gonna cover how to um, how to basically uh, install all these tools for uh, for uh, Photoshop, Max, etc. 
We also have a section where we're going to uh, talk about the material editor because, um, you know, the material editor is quite a big chunk of the, uh, of the editor It's very, very powerful. Uh, it allows you to, uh, to change materials drastically. So, uh, we're going to talk a lot about that as well. And, uh, we're also going to be talking about the, uh, the vegetation editor as well. Um, you know, we sort of, uh, uh, talked about on the, on the first volume, but there were a few things that I did not mention. So in here, I'm, uh, I'm going a little bit deeper and, um, you know, giving you a few more, uh, uh, tips and tricks about, uh, advanced, uh, vegetation editor. We also have, a uh, um, a whole section about the creation of, um, a very simple asset from start to finish. Uh, this asset will have, uh, you know, a few different materials and we're going to get it in game. We're going to start by uh, modeling the, uh, the geometry and exporting it along with its material. Then um, we're going to paint uh, the textures and then we're going to model the proxy, uh, the collision proxy and the, the LODs as well. And we're going to get all that in game and we're going to tweak it and basically we're going to make it look good. And to finalize, uh, we're going to have a small section where I'm going to talk about particles a little bit, how to create uh, uh, custom particles with the particle editor and uh, basically how to place them in the editor as well. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.